here's where we're at. Okay, we've got our X2 trucks. These are the best trucks that we have made, and they're looking really good. Really nice. Now, here's the thing. Here's where we're at. Here's Pug. I made a walkway for Pug. Engraved it. And as I found out when I engraved this walkway, is if you do this, the walkway itself no longer has any any load bearing strength to it. So the walkway cannot be used as a load bearing by itself, cannot be used for load bearing. And I'll show you exactly what that means. So what I did was I made this under frame. All right. And this goes on like that and like that. This would be great, except for one problem. I'll show you what that is. Let's take an Atherin GP9. Let's line them up. The walkway is exactly the height of, or the, the underframe is exactly the height of the GP9. It's perfect. I mean, it matches so perfect. I can't even, I can't believe it. We did some really good measurements to make these trucks, to make, to make it so that with this piece of scrap acrylic, that they line up perfect. However, problem is this. If I put Pug on here, just like that, now he is way, way over the height. He's way over. See that? He goes right over the top. But not by a little, but by a lot. It's too tall. Much, much too tall. So I'm thinking like, gosh, how could we have been so far off in our calculations? To have this happen because now we can't use an underframe like this. Well, checking my own notes, even though I did not note it directly, I did plan somewhere way back, more than 100 days ago, to use the negative space on something like this. Okay, what I mean by the negative space is the parts where it's cut out. Where it's cut out, fit under here just perfect. And when this thing is at the level of the walkway where those pintles go, it's, it is exactly the right height. It's, it's right on. That means the underframe cannot lift it up any. So now we got the problem. What are we going to do? And I should have been thinking about this a lot earlier because here's that C... 30-7 okay as you can see this thing is not load bearing at all it fits down over a frame and that frame here's a here's a lifelike frame okay as you can see see these little ridges here this it is uh, because of the height of the trucks the trucks are right there Okay, they're right under the underframe, and they have raised up the pintle so that the top level of the trucks right there is level with the frame. So that's our problem. The negative space is where we got to focus on building the underframe for this. Because what I would like to have is an underframe that removes just like this. You can take it out. And you'll have the trucks and the motor and everything and all the electronics can be disconnected with disconnects like we like to use you know okay so let's take a look at a gp18 ahm gp18 for some reason the fuel tank is on backwards it's supposed to be like that i got a train show they do the same thing you see these raised edges notice they have a clip over the motors to hold it up to the level up to the perfect level okay we did make pug to do that and plug is our test bed 
if we can solve Pug and get him working, then we can make any locomotive we want any way we want, and that's what we want to do. Then everything's easy. So what we have to do is we got to use the negative space somehow. So here's a piece of aluminum. I was going to do aluminum underframes, and then I'm like, oh, let's use uh, let's use tin because this was getting to be too thick, and the motor has got to sit down in here. So it lines up, so the shafts are, you know, as parallel as I can make, or as level as I can make them. So then we made this out of that uh, downspout. The problem with this is, it's just too hard to, uh, see it's very flexible. Okay, so this is not really going to work as a good underframe. Unless we totally bond it to something on the top, which we don't have room left over to do. It would work great. But then it's bonded and we can't, we can't remove it. I could finish this right now just by cutting out a couple of holes, bonding it, and we'd be done with this. But then that, that uh, doesn't fit with our purpose of having a fully maintainable underframe, which we want. We want a maintainable underframe. So here's what we got to do. We've got to make something in the space, in the cutout space, the negative space, I'm probably using some aluminum that is strong and doesn't sag because we're going to be adding a lot of weight especially in the fuel tank just like the ahm does this there's a big lead weight there in the shell there's a big old lead weight in here gp18 if you don't already know this is one of my favorites of all time i love i love that thing i think it's i think it's fantastic and it's the local i've had the most of so we need to do something like this but then we got to be able to get around the motor so it's level. And so that's what we have to design. And then we it's got to fit in the negative space so it's inside here. So there's a couple ways we can do that. Um, one is we can add things to the inside that set the height. That's not a terrible idea. And that's kind of where we're leaning. Or we got to have something, we can bond something to to the underframe that this sets down on like a shelf. That's also totally possible. And this bendable metal, we already have determined that we can JB weld stuff to give it strength and it works great and then we can mill it. So that's kind of where we're leaning. We gotta figure out a way to make something in the negative space here and get our pentels in place so we can get on with it. We can get everything designed and then we can start building the locomotives and I figure now that we have the trucks done we take a day to prepare a bunch of trucks and it takes a day or two to prepare a shell so we are we're still we're okay there's less than 30 days now so we're still out there um, we're not in terrible shape we solved this problem and then we are solved and we can get on we can just make anything we want to after that so that's where we are. That's what we got to fix, hopefully, today.